Hi, I'm Mark Miklich with Squid Inc. In today's video, we're gonna talk about proper print head maintenance and cleaning on our Jetstream PX CIJ printer. So if we're gonna clean our print head, the first thing I wanna point out is we don't wanna be jetting. Uh, so what you should see on the display is we're uh, likely in auto circulate mode. We just don't want the inkjet running because naturally we're taking the print head out of the sleeve. We're gonna be cleaning it off. Now, how frequently should you do this? Um, I recommend once a week, uh, you know, before you start production or at the end of production, when the system is not jetting, we'll just slide the print head out of the sleeve, take a look at it. If it's clean, we'll put it right back in the sleeve. If we're seeing some buildup, which uh, we'll, we'll show you in the video, um, then we're gonna clean the head off. This is a little bit different than a regular jet stream, uh, just when it comes to potentially cleaning the deflection plates. We don't need a whole lot to clean the print head. Uh, everything that you do need uh, typically comes with the machine. Um, outside of just the cleaning solvent itself, which you'd need to order separately. But uh, we've got our hand dryer bulb that comes with each printer. We've got a cleaning brush that we will use exclusively with the deflection plates that comes with each machine. And then we'll have a squeeze bottle that comes with each machine. Again, we just need to fill this up with the cleaner. On um, this instance, we're using MEK. So we've got the items we need to clean the head. Now we're gonna take the head out of the sleeve and take a look at it. Okay, so we're gonna slide the print head out of the sleeve. You do just need to loosen up this thumb screw before we do that. So we'll slide the print head out just like this. Again, we're not jetting at this time because we know we're gonna be uh, cleaning the head. So again, system is in auto circulate mode. We've got the print head out of the sleeve. Um, one thing I will mention too, this also comes with each printer. We just have a little catch tray. So when we do wash the head off, um, we'll catch any of the, uh, the MEK that drips off the head in this tray. Okay, so we've, again, we have our print head out of the sleeve. We're not jetting. Um, you'll see we've kind of uh, mimicked having some ink on the print head here and on the deflection plates, um, and a little bit up on the electrodes here too. So the first thing you wanna do is just take your cleaning solvent and rinse the print head off. And this is gonna get rid of the, you know, the bulk of your buildup. Um, it would take a significant buildup in which this wouldn't remove most of the ink. So you'll see that's already doing a good job of getting everything off our deflection plates, charge and phase electrodes here in our gutter tube, um, even the front of our gun body. So that's kind of what we're aiming for. Uh, same as a regular jet stream print head, we want to clean from the end of the gun body down. So we've got our gun body, charge electrode, phase detector, deflection plates, gutter, and you know, the print head in general between here, we just wanna keep that clean and dry. So I've rinsed it off well, and we could go ahead and dry this off with our dryer bulb. And again, you just work from the top down and keep the print head at an angle like this over your tray, uh, use gravity as your friend. And we're just gonna kind of dry everything off. Now, if we've got significant buildup here, especially on the deflection plates, each printer does come with this brush. Um, these brushes are Teflon. They're gonna uh, stand up to the MEK very well. So we can use this um, if we spray the head again, especially on the deflection plates, you can go ahead and scrub these off a little bit. And you'll see those are actually cleaning up pretty well. We've got some of that leftover residual ink buildup off of them. Um, you can very carefully use this on your electrodes. You have to be a little bit more cautious here. Um, and even on the rest of the head, but usually it's the, the, the deflection plates that you really wanna get nice and clean. So we're looking for something more along the lines of this. Again, that brush will help you achieve that. When you're done brushing, Rinse everything off again, dry it off very well before you put the head back in the sleeve and start up the machine. So a pretty straightforward process. Once you've got your print head clean and dry, you can go ahead and just put it right back in the sleeve. That concludes our brief video on cleaning the Jetstream PX print head. If you'd like to see more videos on the Jetstream PX or any of our other products, 
make sure to uh, go to our YouTube channel. You can just search uh, Squid Ink Manufacturing in YouTube. You'll find a ton of great videos. And please head over to our website to uh, squidink.com for even more information on our all of our product lines. Thank you.